everyone welcome back to technon tech tv in this tutorial i will show you how to draw an er diagram for hospital management system so let's start so if you don't know what is er diagram and what are the components of er diagram then i have added the video link in the upper right corner of your screen so watch that video first ER diagram for hospital management system is a visual presentation of entities and relationships of hospital management software database. So it shows all the visual instruments of, of database tables and the relationship between the entities. Here the main entities of the hospital management system are patient, doctor, lab report, inpatient, outpatient, bill and room. Now let's define the relationship between them. Relationship between patient and doctor will be patient consults doctor. Next relationship between doctor and lab report will be doctor checks lab report. So here I am adding relation checks between doctor and lab report. And lab report decides whether patient need inpatient care or outpatient care. So the basic difference between inpatient and outpatient care is that inpatient care starts with the admission to the hospital for medical treatment. For example, for complex surgeries, serious illness or medical issues that require substantial monitoring etc. And outpatient care involves any sort of care provided without admission into the hospital. For example, procedures within an outpatient clinic include uh, consultations, tests etc. So I am adding uh, decides between uh, lab report and inpatient and also between lab report and outpatient. Okay, so if a patient admitted to the hospital, then he will stay in the uh, hospital room, right? So I am adding relation admitted to between uh, inpatient and room entity. And last, here I am adding issued to relation between inpatient and bill entity. Similarly, for outpatient and bill entity. And for doctor entity, I am also adding specialization. So specialization is a top down approach in specialization one higher level entity can be broken down into or more lower level entities. So if you don't know about specialization and generalization concept then I have added the video link in the upper right corner of your screen. So click on that link and watch that video first. So doctor can be permanent trainee or it can be visiting doctor. So these are the relationships which I have uh, defined in this uh, six entities. So let's see the cardinality ratio between these entities. So one patient can consult to many different doctors for a different disease right and one doctor can check many lab reports and one or many lab reports can decide whether patient require inpatient care or outpatient care. So here we can add uh, one or uh, we can uh, also add many relation for lab report. Next is inpatient admitted to only one room. So I am adding one to one relationship here and hospital issue one final bill to patient which includes all the charges. So one patient issued to one bill. So this is the cardinality ratio between these entities. Now come to the attributes. So for the entity patient, so first is uh, patient ID that is PID. So PID is the key attribute here and second attribute is uh, name. So here basically I am using composite attribute. So we have break down the uh, name attribute into two sub attributes that is first name and last name. Next attribute is uh, age, gender, address, doctor ID and disease. Next we have entity doctor. So for this we have uh, three attributes doctor ID, doctor name and, and department. So here doctor ID is a key attribute and for entity lab report I am adding six attributes lab number, patient ID, category, date, doctor ID, amount and lab number is the key attribute here. And for inpatient entity I have added six attributes patient ID lab number, room number, date of admission, date of discharge and advance. And for outpatient entity, I am adding three attributes, patient ID, lab number and date. Next is uh, room entity. For this, we can add attributes, room number, room type and status. Here status means whether room is available or not. And room number is the primary key here. 
and last we have uh, entity bill so for this i am adding attribute bill number this is the key attribute and then uh, patient id lab charges bill charges patient type then uh, advance and uh, medicine charges operation charges and last is health card info and number of days so this is how you can draw er diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add uh, various entities and different attributes according to you so that's it for this video if you want to watch more er diagram related videos then please comment the topic on which you would like to watch the er diagram so if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos